Welcome back to Side Alley Gaming, everybody, for another episode in this Cricket 19 career mode. Right, today we're taking on Sussex from the Sussex Cricket Ground. We've only got one more first class match after this one before we head into the T20. So, without any further delays, let's get straight into it. Right here we have, here we go everybody. Welcome to Sussex Cricket Ground for Sussex versus Middlesex. Another first class match. Middlesex coming back off a defeat to Nottinghamshire and obviously looking to bounce back with a victory. We've dropped to third and I think we were first before the last game in the table. So we've dropped down to third. We've got one more first class match after this before the what we can call it like a mid-season break and then the T20s kick off and I think the one day as will come into it at some point as well but looking to get back on track with a victory here Middlesex we did okay in the second innings uh, we made some runs the bowling was terrible from ourselves in the previous game Sussex have won the toss right what are we going to start off with in this episode let's have a look come on come on come on we're going to be starting off with the batting Right, we're in rather early. We're coming in average of 40, 450s and 300s, highest score of 109. So, 53 for two Middlesex. Wilkins and ourselves now looking to establish a partnership as Tassa Lasset Malinga type action. We're off the mark quickly with one run. So, we did okay in the second innings of the last match, made a 100 odd. We were trying to chase down a victory that I guess was never going to happen for Middlesex. And uh, we got past 100 and didn't really go on much further. So today we're going to be looking to see if we can uh, if we can make a big score here, get Middlesex out of the trouble that they're in at the moment. As Rashid Khan's bowled that one short of a length, we've got onto it and we've placed in the gap. Will it go for four runs? And that's our first boundary. Oh my goodness! Went for the cut shot. Good footwork, ideal timing, and ideal shot choice. Yet it goes to the slip. And I don't know how he took that because that came off our bat at like a hundred miles per hour. But Rashid Khan has made the breakthrough. He's picked us up. And we've gone for, I think, five runs. Timed it nicely. Just didn't put it past the fielder. We've gone for five. And here we go. We're in with the bowling. 45 wickets, two five wicket holes, one 10 wicket hole. Our best bowling, eight for 52. Another disappointment with the bat in the first innings. Exactly what happened in the last match. And I'm hoping that in terms of our bowling, we have a better performance. I mean, the ball was there to be cut, maybe. Or maybe I was you know, maybe I was being a bit too cheeky and trying to play a cut shot early on. Should have looked to play a little bit with a straighter bat and get ourselves in. But anyway, the batting is done and we're now in for the bowling. So they trailed by 133. Middlesex didn't really make a big score. Nobody really stuck in. Uh, ourselves obviously included going for five runs and uh, we're gonna have to bowl really well if we're gonna avoid defeat here this is already uh, reminding me of the match against Nottinghamshire as that one's run away for four runs went for the Yorker gets the toe end on it and it runs away for four runs we're gonna have to pick up some early wickets here uh, otherwise Sussex will be in for a big lead in the first innings which we can't afford as that's a Yorker 98.8 .8 miles per hour still looking can't wait for that time when we actually bowl one which is a hundred miles per hour but I think that's going to come further down right here we go again going for the Yorker no luck last ball of our over coming up going for the length ball leg cutter here can we bring slips into play and pick up our first wicket and he just dabs us down no runs 39 with that lost Sussex right into our second over going into Jenna here Wells is on 22 Jenna is on 20 of 26 as I've pushed that one down a bit Two leg side is so the Yorker has been working well for ourselves recently especially since uh, we improved our bowling skills and we added some skill points onto the Yorker and our bowling pace and we've been picking up wickets with it uh, quite regularly but in the last match it didn't really work and so far we're only into our second over I don't think I'm getting the kind of swing I was getting in previous matches so I'm gonna gonna continue with it for a while but if it's not gonna be picking up anything we're gonna have to come up with something else as that's again gonna run away for four runs so identical start to the second over as it was in the first over a couple of nice deliveries and then we dispatch for our boundary right here we go let's bowl this on a length let's see what you're made of mate if it's gonna move off the seam nice little cover drive no run Oh, Cache has it taken an edge. I heard something and I'm hearing noises. There was no edge on it. Right, here we go. Last ball of the second over coming up. Only four runs off it. 
Finish strong, finish strong. Can we get a wicket here? Places into the gap, no runs. End of the over, 47 without loss, Sussex. Right, here we go, back for a second spell. We only got the two overs. I really don't understand this captain sometimes. I mean, why would you bowl your fast bowler in two over bursts? I mean, it makes no difference. I mean, sorry, it makes no sense to me. I mean, it probably does make a difference if you were bowling in a, in the one dayers or something like that or T20. But in a first class match, you get two overs and then you're taken out of the attack. You come back in and now he's probably going to bowl me. Uh, knowing how he's handled me in the previous matches, he'll probably bowl me for like 18 overs on the trot and completely exhaust us. But let's have a look as that's in the air, goes to point no run. So we trail by, sorry, Sussex trailed by 91 runs. There's 77 for one. We've made the breakthrough, not ourselves, but Middlesex have made the breakthrough. But we need to pick up these wickets quickly because we did not put a big enough score in the first innings. And whenever you do that as a team, you're always putting yourself in danger. So... If Sussex make a big first inning score, Middlesex will have it all to do. And already is starting, like I said, feels a little bit like, again, they've done that to me third time in this match. I'm bowling it wide outside the off stump and they're just opening the face, running me down to third man. We don't have a third man. So that's the third boundary of our bowling spell. And they've all gone in the same area. But yeah, already this is looking a little bit like Nottinghamshire. Middlesex need to get on top of it here quickly. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this match is going to slip away from us. Right. Last delivery of our third over coming up. Going in for the Yorker here. Going to put some extra pace into this. Can I go straight through him and pick up a wicket here? Oh, it just misses off stump. 81 for one Sussex. Catch it. Oh, is that gone all the way? Has it carried? No, it's just dropped short of point. Right, back in for our third spell again. I only got two overs in the second spell. So, we've had two spells of bowling, two overs in each of them. I'm not sure what the strategy here is, as that was in the air. And short leg just moves out of the way before the ball took his head off. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the strategy of the captain is. Uh, two overs, uh, it's not a lot to do anything. And hoping in this third spell, he's going to give me a little bit more than two overs. But... I wouldn't hold my breath. Right, here we go. 125 for 1 Sussex. The only trail by 43. So, an uh, innings lead is expected. And I think it's going to be a big one as that one's driven back. No runs. Catch it. There we go. There's the And we made a breakthrough. Finally. Got one to move off the deck. Just held this line. Moved a little bit off it. Takes the edge straight through to Quinton. I think that's an inside edge as well. And that's our first wicket. Tom Haynes departs for 25. Bold Ali caught Quinton de Kock. Right, we finally made the breakthrough in our sixth over. Picked up our first wicket. New man on strike. Right, here we go. Can we get a second one? That's in the air. And it goes in the gap. It's going to be four runs. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beating him all ends up. Last ball coming up here. Right, get this Yorker right. Let's see if we can bowl straight through him and get a bold. Plays it quite well. No runs at the end of the over. 134 for two Sussex. Oh, ball him. There we go. There we go. Delivery in swinger. Full length. Off stump and middle step, uh, middle six. Off stump and middle stump. Out of the ground. Can't even get my words out. That is an awesome wicket. And the new man has gone for four. Bowled by ourselves. Right, into our seventh over. Now we picked up two for 21. Now it's starting to feel a little bit better with the bowling. And we're looking to keep running through. Sussex, 144 for three. They only trail by four, uh, 24 runs now. So that's fine. They are going to put up a lead. Anything under 150 run lead. And then Middlesex can actually look to chase it down. And uh, obviously put up a total for them to chase. But if they make anything more than 150 here, then I think we will struggle. Right, can we pick up another one? There's an edge and it's going to run away for four runs. Right, here we go. In for another spell. Eight overs, one maiden, two for 26. They are now 291 for eight. So the prediction of keeping them under 150 run lead is still possible. They lead by 123 here. And we just need to pick up Carey, who's on 50. Jordan, who's on 23. So we need to break this partnership. And that's why we've been brought back in. Break up the partnership. Pick up these last two wickets. And then we can get in with a batting with a view of hopefully... Doing a lot better this time, uh, rather than the five runs that we made in the first innings. A big score and get Middlesex into a winning position. If possible, that's in the air and it's going to drop short or third man and he's coming in for that one. And he's fumbled it. Luckily, it doesn't cost any extra runs. But he'll just pick up the one run. 96.4 miles per hour, so the pace is not up where we want it to be. 
Uh, I think it is quite late in the day now, so we probably well, stamina looks okay. So I don't think our bowl is tired. I'm just not sure why the pace uh, wasn't up there. There we go, 97.3. That's more like it. Oh, how did that not get a wicket? He had no idea, Kerry, where that delivery was. There we go, got the edge this time, but it's going to run away for four. Oh, these last two wickets are really putting up a fight here. Come on, man. Catch it, there we go. That's the end of Chris Jordan. Off you go. For a second, I thought, why is the umpire not raising his finger? It was just a little bit of a delayed reaction. Third wicket of this innings. Nine down now, another inside edge. Great take by Quinton. Just one more to go. Right, Rashid Khan is the new man in. Let's test him with the short ball. Can we get revenge and pick him up? He was the one who got a wicket. Catch it. It's in the air. Pick that. Take that. There we go. End of the inning. Sussex 345 all out. They lead by 177. And now Middlesex are going to have to bat really well, ourselves included, to put up a nice lead here for Sussex. Game on. Right, here we go. Coming in again for the second innings this time. A good start by Middlesex. Not exactly sure. There we go. 180 for two. So we have a three-run lead. Now we can just bat comfortably, take our time, and hopefully put on a big score here. That's gone through midwicket. There's a man on the boundary. No, no, no. Just be the one run. Right, Rashid Khan, the guy who picked us up in the first innings, is back into the attack. So the openers put on a 100-run partnership for the first wickets. Why have I chased one that was miles outside the leg stump? I should have just left that one and that would have been a wide. Right, Wilcox is on 46. 181 for two here. Right, focus, concentrate. Where's this one going to be? Outside the leg stump. Let's leave it. Again, let that one go by. I don't know why he's bowling so far outside the leg stump. I mean, it's just going to be wide after wide and... Uh, yeah, he needs to straighten up a little bit. He has got some protection on the leg side. There is a man on the boundary, but where's this one going to go? Right, a little bit more straighter. Didn't really get a hold of it. Just the one run. There we go. That'll just be another one run. So he's bowling leg side. There's a man there. I am tempted to go for a big shot there because there are gaps. But if we miss time, this innings is going to end very quickly, which uh, we don't want. Only made five runs in the first inning. So we want to make some big score here. Right. Jordan, one for 40, coming into his 11th over. He's got a packed offside field here. Right. Where's he going to bowl it? And I do not understand that for the life of me. As we come back for the second here, there's comfortable two runs here. Get a move on, we're home. Or oh, are we? Oh my god, this will be embarrassing. This will... Oh, we're gone. I think we're gone. Here we go, decision pending. And we're out. Lazy running. Oh, you idiot. You idiot. Right, here we go. We're in with the bowling in the second innings. Oh my god. It has been an absolute nightmare today with the bats. The second innings, guys, I apologize for that. That was just lazy running on my part. Uh, it was a comfortable single there. Uh, sorry, it's definitely a run there. And uh, yeah, it was just lazy running. Never got to move on. Direct hit and, uh, and we were gone. Right. They trailed by 163 here, Sussex. 2 for 31. We now need to get some wickets and we need to get them quickly to get Middlesex over the line if we possibly can. We failed twice now with the batting, uh, which is unlike us. But uh, anyway, it happens. I guess it keeps it a little bit interesting that we're not making runs every match for fun. But catch it. Oh, maybe I need to put some more fielders there. Right, here we go. Going in for the Yorker here. Three deliveries left in this over. Need to bowl well here. We picked up four wickets in our first innings. Probably going to need to do something similar in the second innings if Middlesex have any chance. Right now, from here, with 159 runs to get, you would actually back Sussex here. But funnier things have happened. Can we get another edge? Yes, we can. And it's going to come along with a boundary. Two boundaries in this over already. Last ball coming up. Going for the short delivery here. Can we pick up a wicket? Let's see. Here we go. Take us on. Let's it go. 39 for two Sussex. Right, three deliveries to go in this over. So Sussex, we're just after lunch on uh, day three. So they've got a lot of day cricket left, obviously, in uh, 
today in day three and they've got the whole of day four left as well i don't think the game's going to go as far as day four i think sussex will probably have this wrapped up by the end of today but if we can make some inroads here with wickets catch this oh there we go as soon as i said that they've taken the short delivery on and we've made a breakthrough so there's our first wicket they are three down now and we just need this wicket taking run to continue if we can pick up another two or three wickets quickly sussex will be in all sorts of bother he's pulled us on gone for the short ball he's taken us on and he's fallen short right last ball of the over coming up can this be a wicket maiden going in for the in-swinging yorker here and he just glances away no runs 39 for three right so i think a batting collapse has started for sussex they're four for 41 now and if we pick up one or two more, then they will definitely start to feel the pressure. I think they're already feeling the pressure of this run chase. It wasn't the biggest of uh, totals to get, but as we know in cricket, it's the smaller totals that normally cause the problem here. Right. Game is definitely on here. As I thought that I was going to beat him, he just gets some bat on it. Last ball of the third over coming up. Length ball off cutter. Going to put some extra pace into this one. Can he bring the slips into play? Yes, he can. In the sense he can get an edge and it's going to run away for four. Oh, how that could have gone on to stumps. It could have gone anywhere. Unfortunately, it's gone for four runs. Five for 47. Now Sussex, 147 runs left to get the victory here. And Middlesex are now really making inroads into this batting lineup. We've just picked up the one, but it's fine. The other guys on the other end are picking up and they're doing their bit. 15.1 overs gone already. We're one for 12 into our fourth over. Right, coming into Van here. Can we pick him up with another inside edge or outside edge to the slips? Plays a nice shot to point. No runs. Right here we go in for a second spell, four overs, one maiden, one for 16, economy of four. They are nine for 74 here, Sussex, and uh, yep, they've given the game to Middlesex. Archer and Rashid Khan on strike, and unless they put on a mental partnership, Middlesex are going to go home. Not sure what happened to Sussex. Uh, they should have, I think they should have obviously won the game from where they were, but we're not going to complain. We just pick this last wicket up, short ball coming up. Can we finish it off here? Catch it. I don't think he got any bat on that. Right, and there we have it. Middlesex winning by 101 runs. We were not able to pick up the last wicket. Let's have a look at the match summary. So 168 all out Middlesex in our first innings. Sussex 345 in their first innings. And then in second innings, 371 Middlesex. We filled in both batting innings, obviously. And then Sussex rolled over for 93. James Harris picking up 5 for 35. In terms of our own performance in this game, well, only five runs in the first innings. Nothing to talk about there when it came to the bowling 13.2 overs one maiden four because of 47 economy of 3.53 and just the one extra which was a wide delivery so no no balls in this match and then in the second innings lazy running run out for four direct hit by Jofra Archer and then when it came to the bowling we didn't bowl a lot only six overs two maidens one for 20 economy of 3.3 so Middlesex get home by 101 runs and Martin Anderson picks up the man of the match right so quickly before I end it let's have a look at the upcoming fixtures we've got one more first class match against Kent and then it is on to some T20 cricket which I am really looking forward to in terms of our selection status well we've made it into the JLT uh, obviously we're a fringe member we haven't made a debut yet County Cup we're a core member we're expecting selection for the one day play and the T20 slam is coming up shortly but the Caribbean Cricket Cup and the Pakistan Premier Plate we are now getting attention so hopefully a couple of good performances and we can move these two in the right direction and add some different formats to our career until then guys gonna leave the episode here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it do smash that like button if you're new around here do subscribe really helps the channel grow let me know your feedback in the comment section and until next time as always guys look after yourselves and catch up soon